Good afternoon and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Belmont softball this afternoon. The Belmont Lady Cardinals getting ready to take on the Lady Golden Bears from All Corn Central. Jack Ivey live here at the Cardinal Stadium this afternoon getting ready for a broadcast. The officials right now talking with umpires at home plate. So we're just a little bit away from getting this game underway. We'll have all the starting lineups and all the pregame festivities coming up in just a second with our national anthem. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. You can call Buster and all the staff at 662-862-3711. Also, Gina McNatt, your tax collector on our broadcast today. Big shout out to Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years. And we really appreciate them for being one of our brand new sponsors. Also, Wildflowers, Unique Flowers and Gifts, Missy and Dustin Brandon on Highway 25 South across from Sparks Drive-In. Speaking of Sparks Drive-In, we really appreciate them for joining us on our broadcast here today. Also, Redmont Heating and Cooling, residential and commercial installation services and repairs. Free estimates, of course, on new installs. They're state certified, licensed, and bonded. Redmont Heating and Cooling, 662-279-6569. Also, big shout-out today to Mr. Daniel Sparks. I uh, want to wish you the team good luck today. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. Also on the broadcast today is Insurance Services. Donnie to Trotter, Deborah Farr out in Dennis, 454-0054. Also making the game possible today here on WRMG, we want to thank uh, Keith Henley. And, uh, of course, that is, of course, at Tommy Morgan. You can uh, reach Keith at henleyproperties.com. Today's game also brought to you by Triple D's Bucket Service. Barney, Brandon, and Dusta Dick, they'll try to meet all your high-reach needs, whether you're trimming or removing a tree, maybe some stump grinding, maybe you need jet steeple cleaned at your church. The license bonded in church, 662-279-7500. It is triple D's bucket service. Also, big shout-out to all the folks out at the Old Country Store, Highway 25 South. Scott and all the staff, we really appreciate Old Country Store. Open early to late. Great food, great service, 24-hour gas pumps. We're talking about the Old Country Store. Also, want to thank Gatlin's Pharmacy on a broadcast here today. If you're spending too much out of pocket, you're in a donut hole, maybe you need to uh, check out prescription prices elsewhere and see if they can save you some money. And, of course, we're talking about Gatlin's Pharmacy. 662-438-6605. That is, of course, Mr. Stanley Page, your pharmacist. Also, Econo Storage, Mr. Haskell Sparks, locations in Belmont and also in Tishomingo. Also making the game possible today is Greg Collier. Greg, of course, is your 5th District Supervisor. Also the Red Bay Hospital on a broadcast of Willow Lane Oil Change and Tires in Belmont there next to the Fire Department. Once again, Willow Lane, a big sponsor of the game today. Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals buys all your gold, aluminum, steel, copper, even all your old cars, 454-7500. The Center Family Medical Clinic on a broadcast here today. Open Monday Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 8.30 to 5, 454-7170. That's Dr. Steve Center at the Center Family Medical Clinic in Belmont. Also, I want to thank the Belmont Hotel, Ronnie Pat Deaton, Donald Ray Thomas, of course, your constable on the south end, Community Spirit Bank with Mike Montgomery in Belmont, along with J.P. Wyom and your hometown state senator, Peyton Cummings, your chancery clerk, along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay in Belmont, Tiffin Motorhomes by Harden Heating and Cooling. That's Allen and Ash, your York dealer, 356-8913. That's 256 356 8913. Also, Mac Wom in your Tishomingo County corner on a broadcast. John Dennis Jardy, your Tishomingo County Sheriff, along with Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse with Lori and Brent Collum. Once again, our broadcast uh, brought to you by Fourth Street Grill, 256 356 2226. Also, want to thank Belmont Pharmacy, Bill, Donna Weatherford, and Pam Moore on our broadcast. And Wood Industries, Jeff and Ingrid, thank you so much. Time now for the pregame, and we'll turn it over to our public address announcer at this time. Now the starting lineup for your Alcorn Central Lady Bears. Number one, Brianna Barnes. Number two, Lolly Beth Harborough. Number three, Olivia Wilson. Number four, Rebecca Fields. Number 23, Alexis Linez. Number double zero, Mercedes Staley. Number 22, Mary Frances Robbins. Number five, Lydia Moore. Number 47, Adelie Kate Loeb. And the rest of your Lady Bears. And 
And now, the starting lineup for your Belmont Lady Cardinals. Starting in right field, number 15, Anna Pound. Catching, number 22, Caroline Gross. Pitching, number 8, Kimberly Shook. Playing first base, number 11, Chana Caldwell. Playing shortstop, number 24, Sarah Berryman. Playing third base, number 20, Brianna Lynch. Playing second base, number 23, Olivia Rooker. Playing left field, number 32, Chantel Lynch. Playing center field, number 13, Peyton Brooks. And the rest of your Lady Cardinals. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please stand as we observe a moment of reflection to honor the men and women serving our country, the many freedoms of our country, and the great young people represented here tonight. Thank you. Now please join us in the national anthem of our great country. About ready to get this one underway. The Belmont Cardinals hosting, of course, Alcorn Central. Big division game this afternoon, all in one game on tap. Alcorn Central, of course, will be batting here in the top of the first inning. Want to welcome you into our broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're also streaming this game. You can go to my Facebook page and click on the Belmont link, and you'll be able to listen to the game here today. You go to WRMGRadio.com. That's WRMGRadio.com. This is Belmont Fast Pitch Softball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Live coverage of Belmont Fast Pitch Softball this afternoon here in Belmont and Alcorn Central about ready to start it off. They're going to have Brianna Barnes leading it off. Number 14, Brianna Barnes. Brianna wears number 14 at shortstop today. Kimberly Shook on the mound for the Cardinals. A right-hander is ready to go, and here's the first pitch of the game. And it's a call strike. And the pitch on the way. And a little bunt. Shook off the mound, gets it, throws to first in time for the out. Belmont baseball team playing down at Vina today. Last score I got, that was 4 to nothing. Belmont leading in that game. If you're listening to this game online, we can go to WRMGRadio.com and listen to it online live at the Belmont link. And if you go over to the Red Bay link, you can actually listen to Belmont and Vina baseball at the same time. Here's the pitch on the way to the batter number two. She'll lay down a bunt. Nice. Throw to first, not going to be in time. Safe down at first base is going to be Olivia Wilson. Olivia laid down a nice bunt. Got down the line in a hurry. And she is safe at first base. This will bring up the third batter. This is Rebecca Fields. Rebecca's center fielder wears number 33. Top of the first inning, no score, just underway in Belmont. And the pitch on the way. There's a shot to the right side. Second baseman's got it. Over to first in time for the out. Runner will advance down to second base. 
Nicely done by the Cardinals. Score that one forward to two. Good play by Olivia Rooker down at second base for the Cardinals to get it over to first. Shana Caldwell over there. This will bring up the cleanup batter. This is Mercedes Staley. She's the catcher, wears double zero. Runner at second here, and the pitch catches the inside corner for a strike. Actually, this is 33, Rebecca Fields. I don't know why I skipped her. And the pitch on the way, foul back to the right. Rebecca plays out in center field on deck. He is double zero Mercedes Staley. And the pitch on the way, swing and a miss for the strikeout. Cardinals are out of the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first. No score in the game. Stranding and runner down at second base was Alcorn Central, and we've played a half inning. And the score right now is Alcorn Central zero, and the Cardinals coming up to bat. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 serving North Alabama, North Mississippi. Do me a favor, if you're listening to this game online, make sure you share it with your friends and let them know how they can get the game. Just go to my Facebook page and I'll have you a link there where you can actually share the uh, softball link. And also you can share the baseball link, baseball game going on uh, down in Vina. As we speak, got another crew down in Red Bay covering Red Bay, and um, they're playing a little softball down there. I believe Cherokee in town. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Belmont Pharmacy. That's Bill Donna Weatherford and Pam Moore. Don't forget, uh, they got that drive through under there. Actually, got a double drive through to kind of speed the process up. So the Cardinals will bat here in the bottom of the first inning. No score in the game. Today's game also brought to you by Tristead Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, and also Brenda Purser over at the Red Bay office. They're licensed Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Call them right here in Belmont. That number, by the way, is 454-3304. If you're over in Red Bay, 256-356-4804. Also want to thank Med Express of Red Bay, formerly known as the Keller Family Practice. That's Dr. William Bush. And also nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys. You can call them at 356-8907. Also Southeast Surplus, Mr. Edwin Bold and Highway 25 South, 454-7484. And also don't forget they are your steel power products headquarters and also your truck and accessory headquarters. Also big shout out today to Milligan Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North in Iuka. By Silver Dollar Grocery located down in Golden. That is Mr. Rick Sparks and his staff. Also, I want to thank Sunshine Mills, makers of that great cat food and dog food, by Grace Long Real Estate, your hometown Piggly Wiggly, and Red Bay Belmont and Iuka. Redmond Pharmacy in Red Bay with J.C. Weeks and the staff, H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay, Fulton. By Napa Auto Parts in Belmont, Red Bud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne, along with Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent. You can call Ronnie, by the way, at 4 238477 and also big shout out to Sid's Trading Company 4240025 Sid's your bush hog zero turn more dealer Pound to leading it off for the Cardinals right fielder First pitch in there for a ball Allocate Logue on the map pitching for. Actually, that's. Uh, they gave me some information wrong. That, that looks like Lydia Moore on the mound pitching. Ball outside. Two balls and one strike.
And the pitch on the way. Ball high. You do have more number five, right? Three balls and one strike. The pitch to Pounds. It's way outside. Ball four. Cardinals have got a base runner here. This will bring up number 22. Your catcher, Caroline Gross. Caroline, a right-handed batter. And the pitch, ball high. Kimberly Shook on deck, be followed by Caldwell. No score, we're in the bottom of the first inning. And the pitch on the way, another ball high. Two balls and no strikes. And the pitch on the way. It's inside, ball three. Three balls, no strikes. Cardinals already with a runner down at first base. Nobody out. We're in the bottom of the first inning. And the pitch on the way. In the dirt, ball four. The Cardinals with a couple of base runners on. Coach Guy to Gardner coaching down at first base. Coach Long. And the Cardinals will have a courtesy runner down there. Up the bat, your pitcher, number eight, Cameron Schiff. In the courtesy runner. Hannah Brock, Hannah Brock will be the courtesy runner down at first. Schiff, you batter the pitcher, batting with two on. And nobody out. Here's the pitch on the way. Strike call. And the pitch on the way. And another pitch in there for a ball. Evens up the count. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch, and it's way high, ball two. Cardinals got a chance for a big inning here right now with two on. Nobody out, and the pitch to Shook is a ball. Both runners will advance down to second and third. Is that y'all buzzing? Oh. Three one count. And there's ball four, so the bases are going to be loaded for Caldwell. So Shanna Caldwell will be batting. Another courtesy runner for the Cardinals down at first base, and Alcorn Central will get a timeout. Told you the courtesy runner down at first. So I'm going to change pitchers here in the bottom of the first inning. 47 Logue, who I was given that was going to be the pitcher he is out there now. And the pitch, number 47, load. So we got a break in the action. Of course, today's game brought to you by Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. You can call them at 662-862-3711. Northeast Mississippi's oldest dealer in business now for over 50 years. Come and see Buster and all the staff. Save thousands of dollars right now at Davis Ford down in Fulton. Also, big shout out to Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Good luck to all the county teams. Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years, especially, of course, is engagement rings. And, of course, making the customers happy. 
And Miss Joanne, hope she's feeling better today. Want to say hello to her and Miss Teresa and all the staff down at Stone's Jewelry in Tupelo and Ripley. Wishing the Cardinals best of luck here today. And there's a foul back to the screen. So Alcorn Central has changed pitchers and brought in number 47, Logue, to pitch. She replaces Moore. Here's the second pitch to Caldwell inside. Caldwell batting on the left side with the bases loaded. Nobody out. She's got a 1-1 count. And the pitch on the way. Ball two. And the pitch swing and another foul back to the screen. You got any money on homers this year? You hadn't offered any money? And the pitch on the way. Swing and a pop-up. Catcher calls for it and makes the play. Well, the first out of the inning. That will... Bring up number 24. This is Sarah Grace Behrman, the shortstop for the Cardinals. I saw a grandparent from somewhere have to hand over 100 Saturday. Behrman batting with the bases loaded, and she's going to pop it up. And that'll be the second out of the inning. So the Cardinals looking like they had a big inning in store. A couple of pop-ups and the bases are still loaded. We will see if uh, the Cardinals, Brianna Lynch, can get some runs up for the board for the Cardinals. No score in the game. Two out now. And the pitch is high. And the pitch on the way. Strike call. That will even up the count. One ball, one strikes. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back to the screen. Got the fans dodging here in Belmont. One ball, two strikes, and two out. The pitch. Lou. Ball two. And there's a shot to right field. I'm not going to be able to see if it's fair or not, but it is going to be a foul. Who's the courtesy runner over first? Do you know? I can. Is that number? Who? Haley Musgrave, the courtesy runner over at first. And there's another foul. That one's back. And out of play. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Belmont with the bases loaded, but no runs in here. And the pitch, swing ground ball. And that one is going to get through there. Base hit. That should score a couple of runs for the Cardinals. There's going to be a play at the plate, and she is going to be out at the plate. Good job of the outfield to get Brock at the plate. So the Cardinals do score a run, and we'll go to the second inning with Belmont leading by a score of one to nothing. One to nothing is your score. Today's game brought to you by Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts. Missy and Dustin Brandon. Don't forget flowers for any occasions, gift items. They can take care of you at Wildflowers, 454-1033. And also, big shout out to all the folks down at Sparks Drive-In on Highway 25 South. Scotch, what's happening down at Sparks Drive-In? Y'all just keep expanding down there, don't you? So the bed and breakfast, is it open and ready to go? Oh, that sounds good. Did it, i got to ask you, I'm going to put you on the spot. If you stay there, uh, they've got to eat Sparks Drive-In, right? Is, bre oh, breakfast is free. Oh, my goodness. If you stay at the uh, bed and breakfast, Sparks. Bed and breakfast there next to Sparks Drive-In, the breakfast is free. You can't beat that. 
great food all the time, and, of course, they continue to make it better every time you turn around. So we appreciate Scott and all the staff at Sparks Drive-In for making this game possible here today. Also want to thank Redmont Heating and Cooling with Mr. Patrick Brooks. Got any heat and air problems? 662-279-6569. Dunny Bell, your state representative for District 21, and also Mr. Daniel Sparks, all making this game possible today. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, big shout out to the folks at Insurance Services, Miss Donnie DeTrotter, Deborah Farr, down in Dennis, 454 don't forget, we're streaming today's game live. You can go to my Facebook page and get the link there, or you can go to WRMGRadio.com and click on the link and share it with your friends and neighbors. Let them know the game is on today. Line is number 23 batting for Alcorn Central. And the pitch on the way he is a call strike. Did you hear an ambulance? Did you hear an ambulance? Did you hear one? One strike to count. Here's the shook pitch. A little bit high. Number 23, Alexis Lanez. Where's number 23? We got load coming up next. That'll be... Followed by Moore. Cardinals lead 1 0 here at the top of the second. There's a shot to the shortstop. Behrman's got it. The throw to first in time of the out. Double zero of the batter. I guess my lineup that I received. From Alcorn Central is not correct. No wonder I called the wrong name earlier. I had uh, Staley batting uh, fourth, but that's not the case. Here she is batting now. And the pitch on the way. And there's a foul. Guess we'll just double check to make sure who's coming up there first, right? Caroline Gross took a look on that one. She says she's okay. One ball, one strike, and one out. Nobody on here in the top of the second for Alcorn Central. And she takes the ball. And a ball. Three balls, one strike, one out. And the pitch on the way. Ball outside, ball four. Up to bat, number 23, Mary Francis Robbins. So Mary Frances Robbins will bat next. Where's number 22? Cardinals playing in at the corners. And the pitch on the way, swinging away, fouls that one back to the net. And here's the pitch on the way, swing and a miss. Two strike count, runner on with one out, and there's a pitch outside. 
Kimberly Shook, number eight on the mound, pitching for the Cardinals. Caroline Gross behind the plate. And the pitch on the way, swing ground ball to the right side. Rooker's got it over to second for one. And that'll be all that the Cardinals will get, but they got the lead runner. Good job there. Score that one 4-6 on the put out down at second base. This will ring up number five, Lydia Moore. Number five, Lydia Moore. One to nothing, Belmont leads. Top of the second inning. Central with a runner at first and two out. And there's a throw down at first. Runner safely back in. One ball and no strikes. And the pitch on the way. It's a ball. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back. Getting around a little late on that one. Two balls, no strikes. And the pitch on the way. Another foul back. Scott, you could probably make a million dollars if y'all could come up with a better, more stylish mask for the infielders. And the pitch on the way. So what are they, would you say 50 something dollars? Oh yeah. Three balls, two strikes, and two outs. Here's the pitch on the way. It's ball four. So another base runner for Alcorn Central. They'll have runners at first and second. This will bring up number 47. This is Adley Kate Logue. That's a bad number 47, Adley Kate Logue. And the pitch on the way, swing and a miss. Runner stealing, and guess what? The ball goes in the outfield, and the Cardinals gives them a bonus run out in the outfield. The ball goes, and a run comes in. Caroline Gross shooting that one down to third, and nobody there on that one. Didn't know it was coming, I'm not sure. So it was... Now runner down at second with two outs. One strike to count. And we got a tie ball game, one to one. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Logue came on in relief from Moore in the first inning. One ball, two strike pitch is on the way and it's off the glove and back. That pitch went way wide and Gross tried to get it. And the runner will advance down to third base. Got a tie ball game, top of the second inning, all corn central with a runner down at third to take the lead if they can get it in. There's a pitch just a touch high, apparently. And there's a strike call. That will retire the side. 
We're going to the bottom of the second inning. It is a tie game. It's uh, Belmont one and the ball club from Allcorn Central one. This is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Back to action here in the bottom of the second inning. And the pitch on the way, swinging a foul back. Olivia Rooker now the batter. Belmont baseball winning down at Vida, four to one in the fourth. And there's a ground ball to the right side. Second baseman's got it over to first in time of the out. Score that one four to three. Chantel Lynch will be the batter. And here's the pitch on the way. She, ooh, almost a great catch by the catcher. Bunted that one in it, ball went up and catcher. Almost made a really, really good play, number 33, which is Rebecca Fields. Belmont one, Alcorn Central one. We're in the bottom of the second inning. And the pitch, ground ball right back to the pitcher, over to first. Score that one one to three. Peyton Brooks will be the batter. Not too bad. Number 13, Peyton Brooks. Peyton batting with nobody on and two outs. Peyton grounds that ball to the right side. Another easy play and an easy inning for Alcorn Central. We've played two complete. And it's Belmont one, Alcorn Central one. Appreciate everybody for joining us here. Today's game brought to you by the Old Country Store. Highway 25 south of Belmont. Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo. Greg Collier, your 5th District Supervisor, along with the Red Bay Hospital. Also, Willow Lane Tire and Oil Change. Nelson Metals on our broadcast here today, along with the Center Family Medical Clinic. The Belmont Hotel with Ron and Pat Deaton. Also, Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end of Tishomingo County. Community Spirit Bank in Red Bay, Belmont. Vina and over in Russellville, Alabama, and also J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator. Also, big shout out today to the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Peyton Cummings, your chantry clerk, along with Tiffin Motorhomes. Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer, 256 356 8913. Also, want to thank Mac Wyman, your Tishomingo County Corner. And if you're hungry, it's worth the drive all the time at 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse in Red Bay. Lori and Brent Collum, your owners there. Good food every day, reasonable prices, 256-356-2226. Also, John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff, making the game possible today. This is Belmont and Alcorn Central. Fast pitch softball. Live in Belmont today. So we're back to the top of the batting order. Barnes will bat to lead it off here and her swing and miss. And the pitch on the way. Strike on the corner. Two strikes to count. Nobody out. We're in the top of the third inning. All Corn Central batting against Belmont. And the pitch is a ball high. Mm -hmm. 
And the shook pitch swing and a pop-up. Shortstop Behrman calls for it and makes the catch. Harville now the batter. And the pitch on the way. Lays a bunt out nicely. She's got a chance of beating that one out. Great throw down first, but she is going to be safe. Close one down at first. Good play by the Cardinal infield to get that one down in a hurry from Zook, but uh, it was awful close, and she is safe at first. At the bat, number three, Olivia Wilson. Olivia Wilson will be the batter. She'll be batting with one out and a runner down at first base. And the pitch on the way. Bunt foul. No balls and one strike and the swing and a foul off to the right back and out of play. And the pitch swing and another pop up and looks like Brianna Lynch is gonna call this one and a double play. And the Cardinals are out of the inning. Great job there by Brianna Lynch making the nice catch. Shooting that ball over to first base to Caldwell. Double play, and guess what? Cardinals are out of the inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the third. We're still tied up one-to-one. -one. This is Belmont Fast Pitch Softball on WRMG. Brought to you by Belmont Pharmacy, Bill Donna Weatherford, and Pam Moore. Also, I want to thank Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, that Belmont number 454-3304. Don't forget when you become one of our customers, you become family. We take the uncertainty out of the insurance and make sure you have the protection you need. Whether you're insuring your vehicle, your home, your motorcycle, even a four-wheeler, a boat, or an RV, maybe even a farm or business, we have the policy that can be tailored to your needs. We're licensed, of course, in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee, Tri-State Insurance. Also, a big shout out to Dr. William Bush and Kayla Humphreys, your nurse practitioner at Med Express of uh, Red Bay. Also, on a sandwich, we appreciate Mr. Edwin Bolden, sponsors all of our sports, and down at Southeast Surplus, he is, of course, your Steel Power Products headquarters. Once again, Mr. Edwin Bolden at Southeast Surplus. Also, Milligan Ready Mix on a broadcast here today, along with Silver Dollar Grocery down in Golden, with Mr. Rick Sparks. Anna Pounds will lead it off for the Cardinals here in the bottom of the third. We're all tied up. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast here. If you'd like to get a copy of this game or any of the games we do, of course, they're available on DVD. Anna fouls that one back and out of play. And the pitch to pounds. This one high and inside. Evens the count, one ball, one strike. And the pitch, way high. That one got away from the pitcher there. Number 47 on the mound. 
Adley Kate Logue. Pitching here with a 2-1 count. Nobody out for the Cardinals in the bottom of the third. And the pitch to Pounds and right back the middle. Shortstop's got it. Throws to first, but not going to be in time. Good job of Pounds to get down the line in a hurry. So she is safely down at first base. Caroline Gross will be your batter, number 22 for the Cardinals. Up the bat, to catcher, number 22, Caroline Gross. And the pitch lays down a bunt, back to the pitcher, the throw to first, in time of the out. Kimberly Shook will be the batter. Run it out at second base. With a one out now. Ball gets away. Runner over at third with no problem. And the pitch to Shook he is low. Two balls and no strikes, the count. All tied up one to one, the bottom of the third. And the pitch, ball three. Cardinals threatening here in the third, and there's ball four gets away, and the runner's going to score without a throw. That was ball four anyway, but uh, of course the ball getting away. The Cardinals have taken the lead. Caldwell will bat. Got a courtesy runner down at first. Haley Musgrave. So the Cardinals have a runner down at first, leading 2-1. All Corn Central in town today. And the pitch in the dirt. Logue looks in, got the signal there's the pitch outside. Two balls and a strike, one out. Don't be ready. Come and tell you right now. Let's go. And the pitch, and she takes that one to the left field. Left fielder can't get that one. It's overhead, and that ball will go to the fence. Cardinals should score a run here with no problem, and Caldwell will be down at third base. As Musgrave scores, and Caldwell safely down at third base. With a triple. That was a nice piece of hitting there by Caldwell as she took that one over the left fielder's head. Jumped off that bat. Cardinals lead three to one, and this is Sarah Grace Behrman batting with one out. And the pitch, and that one is right back up the middle by Behrman. That'll score Caldwell. Behrman's on with a base hit. So the Cardinals now lead four to one. They've put uh, three on the board here. This will rank Brianna Lynch. And the pitch on the way, ball high. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Throw down to first runner safe. Dad, if you'd put a little money on this, you probably might get a double or a triple or something. 
Give her, tell her you'll give her $20 if she gets a hit right here. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. If you got a signal, you can send it down where you give her. You just got to look at it. And she'll know it's 20. And the 2-1 pitch. Ball inside. Ball three. Runner stealing. And she's going to be out easily down at second base. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a pop-up. Catcher calling for it. Makes the catch for the out. And that'll be the third out of the inning. Cardinals do lead four to one. And we're going to the top of the fourth. This is Belmont Fast Pit Softball. Brought to you by Sparks Drive-In on Highway 25 South. And don't forget Abby Clares, Miss Natalie Griffin Cumber. Go to abbeclares.com for the latest in fashion. Sunshine Mills on a broadcast along with Grace Long Real Estate. Your hometown, Piggly Wiggly, Redmond Pharmacy, H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay Fulton, by Napa Auto Parts in Belmont, by Redbud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne, by Ronnie Cook, your Modern Woodman agent. Don't forget to have been around for a long time. Modern Woodman of America can help you plan for life from protection to savings to retirement. The member-owned Fraternal Financial Services Organization also offers member benefits and local volunteer opportunities. Call Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477. Also, big shout-out today to your authorized Landmaster Utility Vehicle dealer. That's Sid's Trading Company. Also, home of those Branson tractors and all the accessories. Sid's Trading Company in Iuka Highway 25 South, 424-0025. And also, big shout-out today once again to the folks at Stone's Jewelry down in Tupelo and in Ripley. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Do what now? Uh, WRMGradio.com and just click on the Belmont link. I've got the link on my Facebook page too. But. WRMGradio.com. Rebecca Fields leading it off here in the top of the fourth inning and the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Pretty pitch there by... Kimberly Shook on the mound. And the pitch on the way. One ball and one strike. And the pitch. And there's a shot, and great play made by your third baseman. I thought that one was going to get over her head and out in the outfield. But Brian Lynch timed that one perfectly and made the catch. I'll leave that in the video for an extra 20. Mm. Yeah, they, they'll want to see those good defensive plays, right? And the pitch on the way, low and inside. Line is now the batter. And she takes a strike. Got a lightning delay over in Vina. And it's in the fifth inning, and Belmont leading Vina 4-3. to three. That's in the fifth inning with a lightning delay in Vina. We may have one here before too long. And the pitch on the way. It's low and in the dirt. And the pitch on the way is a call strike. That'll make it a 2-2 count. Okay. 
And the pitch on the way. It's over there for a strike, strike three call. Great pitch there by your Cardinal pitcher, Kimberly Shook. Getting some high fives and low fives and every all kinds of fives out at the pitcher's mouth. Staley will be the batter. And the pitch swing and a miss. Belmont leads 4-1. to We're in the top of the fourth inning. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here today. And the pitch swing and a miss. Nobody on and two out for Alcorn Central. They trail Belmont four to one, and here's the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, gets away from the catcher. And a good throw down to first, gets the out. And we're going to the bottom of the fourth. Great play there by Caroline Gross to be able to go back there and get that one and make a quality throw down at first to get the out. And the Cardinals will bat in the bottom of the fourth, leading four to one. This is Belmont Fast Pitch Softball on WRMG. Brought to you by Jenny McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, and Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Leading off, your second baseman, number 23, Olivia Rooker. Olivia Rooker will lead it off for the Cardinals here in the bottom of the fourth. Those showers are just a little bit south of us, but we're hoping the lightning will not get close enough to send the old detector off. They have a lightning delay over in Vina right now. Looks like it's kind of headed that way. Belmont leading over there four to three in the fifth inning. Steve Bates on the call over there. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. One ball, no strike. Or one ball, one strike, I should say. Nobody out. This is Olivia Rooker, the batter, and the pitch on the way. And the pitch. Swing and a shot to the right side. That's in there for a base hit. Nicely done there by Olivia Rooker. Olivia Rooker with a hit. Chantel Lynch will be the batter of the left fielder. And the pitch, and a nice bunt out in front of the plate. Throw down to first, going to be in time for the out. Uh, no, sir. So the Cardinals do have an out and a runner down at second base. Welcome back, number 13, Peyton Brooks. Peyton Brooks will be the batter for the Cardinals. And the pitch on the way. One ball, no strikes, runner down at second. Belmont leading four to one, and the pitch on the way. He is a call strike. Peyton sporting that number 13. And the pitch outside. And the pitch, bunt foul. And the pitch, foul tip, or the hitter, hitter. 
And she is out. So she is going to be called out at the plate. That'll be the second out of the inning. Wind picking up a little bit from left to right. We're back, I believe, to the top of the batting order. Anna Pounds will be the batter. Cardinals could use another run right here. Leads four to one here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the pitch is a ball. Two balls, no strikes. And the pitch on the way. He has a strike called on the corner. And the pitch inside. Three balls and one strike. Runner down at second. And it's a rooker down there. Cardinals have got two outs, but a runner down at second. Could use a big hit right here by Pounds to increase the lead. The pitch on the way. Swing, ground ball, slow roller to the second baseman. She's got it in first. Close play over there, and she is called out. It was a close one. But the ump said, hey, she's out. So we will go to the fifth inning, Belmont. Still leading by the score of four to one. This is Belmont Fast Pitch Softball on WRMG. Brought to you by Sparks Drive in Highway 25 South in Belmont. Don't forget Sparks Drive in bed and breakfast now open. Stay there. Guess what? You get a free breakfast. Also, Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years plus, specializing in engagement rings and great customer service and keeping the customer happy. And of course, when you think of jewelry, we want you to think of Stone's Jewelry. Tupelo and Ripley, Miss Joanne, been under the weather. We're praying that she's going to get better real, real soon. Her and Teresa want to wish the Cardinals best of luck and all the family. Of course, they got a location there in Tupelo and Ripley. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts. Missy Brandon and old Dusty there. They're located 305 Second Street. That's Highway 25 South. And, of course, they got something for any occasion. And a lot of new items coming in, a lot of great gift items. Told you about Sparks, man. What about Redmond Heating and Cooling? Daniel Sparks, want to wish the Cardinals good luck here today. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. Also on a broadcast today is Insurance Services. Donnie to Trotter, Deborah Farr, whether it's home, life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, much more. 454-0054. Donnie to Trotter, Deborah Farr at Insurance Services. Keith Henley with Tommy Morgan. 662-213-5599 for all your real estate needs. You can visit his website, henleyproperties.com. Nobody sells more homes in the area than Keith Henley. He knows what it takes to get your home sold and where to find that next one. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service on a broadcast as well, 279-7500. And we're back to action. Top of the fifth inning. Mary Fran Robbins, the batter. And the pitch on the way. And there's a foul ball down the third base side. And the runner is out. Made contact with her out of the box. Lydia Moore. Lydia Moore will be the batter. Belmont leads 4-1. We're in the top of the fifth inning. It was threatening kind of rain as the winds picked up. The rain's kind of south of us. Had a rain delay down in Vina. Belmont leading down there 4-3. I'm assuming they're still in that rain delay down there. Scott, I got you a question. When can we expect the old country store bed and breakfast? Not any time soon. I mean, you need more to do. Are you cleaning rooms too? No. You're not cleaning rooms. Can I hire you to do a little landscaping and cleaning around shrubs and all that stuff? You can. I saw you doing that. There's a ground ball down to second over to first in time for the out. 
We passed her, and I said, to my wife, I said, Scott's out there. Up to bat, number 47, Adelie K. Logue. Four to one the score. The Cardinals have got two outs against Alcorn Central here. Logue the batter, number 47. See Coach Moody down there with that lightning detector keeping a close watch on it. Four to one, the score and the ball. One ball, one strike, and two outs. We're in the top of the fifth inning. Belmont four, Alcorn Central one. And the pitch, swing and a miss. A little Parker. And the pitch on the way, swing and a miss for the strikeout. And the Cardinals get out of the inning. Four to one Belmont, we're going to the bottom of the fifth inning. I think the coach from Alcorn Central and the official discussing the weather. And apparently it's a little bit south of us, or when I say south, about the old country stores, uh, supposedly not coming this direction for right now unless something else pops up. We've got, of course, today's game brought to you by Southeast Surplus, Mr. Edwin Bolden, your Steel Power Products Headquarters, Highway 25 South. What about uh, Gatlin's Pharmacy? I want to go back uh, to Old Country Store. If you had not had a chance to get there, they got the 24-hour gas pumps. But uh, some awesome food, by the way. About any time you go there, they'll fix you what you want when you go. But they got something... Great breakfast every morning, great lunch. Greg Collier, your 5th District Supervisor, making progress one day at a time on a broadcast. Gatlin Pharmacy, Mr. Stanley Page, 438-6605. Red Bay Hospital, Mr. Glenn Jones and his staff. Don't forget the emergency department, staffed by board-certified physicians 24 hours a day. Inpatient and outpatient, rehab, transitional care, outpatient surgery clinic, therapy, lab, radiology services right there on site the Red Bay Hospital. Don't forget, of course, today's game brought to you by Willow Lane. Oil chains and tires and brakes. They do, it. they do a lot of stuff at Willow Lane, I'm telling you. Willow Lane, of course, is your record service, and they do your tires as well. Nelson Metals, Mr. Ken Nelson on the broadcast, buying all your aluminum, steel, copper, old cars. And the pitch high and inside. Appreciate uh, the Belmont Hotel along with Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end, along with the Center Family Medical Clinic. Belmont batting here in the bottom of the fifth. And a swing and a foul back. I had a white white on it right there. Caroline Gross, the batter. One ball, one strike, and another foul back. Here's the one-two pitch, and it's a ball high. Two balls, two strikes, and nobody out. Caroline Gross ready for the pitch. Swing and a fly ball to left field. Left fielder coming over, not going to be able to make the catch. And it is a fair ball. Gross on her way down to second. She'll make the turn and stop and back up. And Caroline Gross with a double to left field. Going to have a courtesy runner for her. 
Brock is going to be your courtesy runner. And the courtesy runner, number nine, Hannah Brock. Hannah Brock, your courtesy number runner. Back, your pitcher, number eight, Kimberly Shook. Kimberly Shook will be batting with nobody out. And the pitch, wild pitch. Brock will be heading down to third base. Caldwell on deck. And the pitch to Shook. Swing at a foul back. Over the Alcorn Central dugout. Down the first base side. One one pitch, and there's another one back to the fence. Brock stand put down at third base with nobody out. Two one count. Two balls and one strike. Logue still on the mound, and the pitch swing and a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop throw to first, and she. Is going to be out, but Brock will score. Good play from short down to first. Threw that one on her knees. Good job. This will bring up Shana Caldwell for the Cardinals. Your number 11. Shana Caldwell, man. And the pitch is outside. Five to one Belmont. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. And the pitch. Got a double to left field, I believe her last at bat. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Ball three. And the pitch on the way. Ball four. Didn't get anything to swing at. Sarah Grace Behrman will be your batter for the Cardinals. So Behrman a bat with a runner down at first with the one out. Bottom of the fifth, Cardinals up five to one in that pitch. A little low. And a strike call. Told you earlier, Belmont baseball in a rain delay at Vina, leading 4-3 in the fifth inning down there. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to right field. Right fielder going back. Not going to be able to get this one. That ball carried. Behrman got a lick on it. Caldwell will end up down at third base. So runners at second and third for Belmont. Caldwell had to wait to make sure she didn't catch it before she took off and still ended up runners at second and third. Lynch now the batter. And there's a swing and a foul back. Brianna's made some nice plays down at third base today, including being a part of a double play. Five to one the score, runner at second and third, and the pitch on the way. One ball, one strike, and one out. And the pitch on the way, swing, and a pop-up to the right side. So 
So they called it a foul. I couldn't see from where I was at, but they said it looked like it was on the line, but the official didn't give us. Still in a delay down at Vina. And the pitch on the way, way high. And the runner is gonna try to make it home and she does standing up. Then she got hit with the ball. Hopefully she's gonna be all right. I don't think Shauna was, when she came in standing up, she didn't know a ball was gonna pop her upside of the head. Hopefully she's going to be okay. The Cardinals do get another run to make it six to one. And the pitch for Brianna. Swing out a shot to the right side foul. Don't forget you can tell your friends to go to WRMGradio.com or they can go to my Facebook page and listen to the game. All Belmont right now leading six to one here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Cardinals with a runner down at third. And the pitch on the way, swing, shot right side. And that one knocked down by the second baseman, but it is gonna be an infield hook. Good job as Behrman crosses the plate for the Cardinals. And Brianna Lynch with an infield hit there for the Cardinals. So the Cardinals with one out now lead seven to nothing. Here's Olivia Rooker, number 23 for the Redbirds. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. And the pitch. Chantel Lynch on deck for the Cardinals. Two balls, no strikes, and the pitch on the way. Low gets away. Runner will advance down to second without a throw. So now runner at second with three and oh the count. And the pitch on the way, ball four. So Belmont will bring Chantel Lynch to the batter's box. Leading seven to one with one out. And now we got a timeout. So Alcorn Central called on a timeout. We'll see if she makes the change right here. Today's game brought to you by the Center Family Medical Clinic along with the Belmont Hotel, Community Spirit Bank along with Donald Ray Thomas, your constable on the south end, J.P. Wyom, and your hometown state senator, Peyton Cummings, your chancellor clerk along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Band Belmont, Tiffin Motor Homes on a broadcast along with Allen and Nash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling, Mac Wyom and your Tishomingo County Corner, and also I want to thank 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse over in Red Bay for making the game possible today. And the pitch on the way. Laying down a nice bunt right out in front of the plate. Throw to first. It's way high. Goes in the outfield. The Cardinals will score two runs on that. Now the ball getting away on the infield. The throw down to third. And it gets away again. And this time, guess what Lynch is going to do? She's going to go all the way around the bases. I think she might be excited on that one. Chantel Lynch. Getting four bases on a ball hit about a what foot? Uh, six inches from the plate. It was the wild throw down to first base, went to outfield, and of course it got thrown around there. And next thing you know, she's crossed the plate. And the Cardinals lead 10 to 1. Peyton Brooks will be the batter. And Peyton pops that up short center field. Center fielder is there to make the catch for the second out. Belmont leads it 10 to one, and we're back to 
Anna Pounds, number 15, the right fielder will bat. Anna lays down a bunt, and it's foul. Ten to one, Belmont. Bottom of the fifth inning. Swing and a miss. Appreciate John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff, on our broadcast here today. And also Bill Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, and all the crew at Belmont Pharmacy. Swing and reaching for that one and fouling it on the Cardinal dugout. No balls, two strikes, and two outs. Belmont leading 10 to 1. And there's a ball. And a swing and a foul ball. Here's the one-two pitch swing and a ground ball. Second baseman over to first in time for the out. Score that one 4-3. Cardinals are finally retired in the bottom of the fifth inning and lead 10-1. We're going to the sixth inning. It's Belmont That's on top, 10-1. To And there's a little swing pop up, and that one did it stay foul. Yeah. Stay fair, fair foul ball. Yeah. Cardinal infield played that one perfectly because you're not going to throw her out because it too far to come and take a chance that it goes foul and it did. Here's the pitch on the way. And the strike. Two strikes the count. We are in the top of the sixth inning. Brianna Barnes, the batter. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Good job, Kimberly Shook. And the pitch. This is Harville, the batter. And the pitch on the way. Right to the third baseman. And she's going to be safely down at first base. So bring up number three, this is Olivia Wilson. Matting with a runner at first one out. She shows a bunt. Let's go see. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to the right side. Rooker's got it over to first in time of the out. So that will advance a runner down to second base with two outs. Up to bat, your catcher, number 33, Rebecca Fields. Rebecca Fields will be the batter. Don't forget if you'd like to get a copy of this game, we do have them available on DVD. 662-454-9797.
to place that order. First pitch is in there for a strike. Two outs for all Corn Central here in the top of the sixth and the pitch on the way, swing and a fly ball, foul out of way. And a foul, there's your score way out there. 10 to one, as you can see, a two strike count with two outs. And the shook pitch is high, back to the screen. The runner will advance over to third. That'll make it a one-two count. And the one-two pitch is on the way. It's a ball. And the pitch, swing and a miss, strike three for the strikeout. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's Belmont still on top, 10 to one. This is Belmont fast pitch softball on WRMG. Appreciate you joining us here today live in Belmont. Still in the rain delay down at Vina. Belmont leading down there four to three. Steve Bates on the call down in Vina. We are moving to the bottom of the sixth inning. Belmont with a 10 to one lead. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Belmont Pharmacy. Bill Donna Weather from Pam Moore. Don't forget they got that digital kiosk photo maker. A lot of over the line or over the counter uh, cold and flu items. Large selection of vitamins and other type remedies. And, we always like to say the best view in town is down at the Belmont Pharmacy. That's Bill Donald Weatherford and Pam Moore. Alabama, Mississippi Medicaid, of course, a Tiffin's preferred provider. Also want to thank Tristed Insurance on our broadcast, Kim and Caitlin Wells, Mike Moore, Med Express of Red Bay, Sparks Drive in along with the old country store in Willow Lane. All on our broadcast here today. Caroline Gross, the batter number 22. What did it get so quiet for? And the pitch on the way. Ball high. And the pitch is a ball high. 47 here. Load came on in the first inning for more and it's gone the entire way and the pitch on the way is a call strike hey, Miss Harry, let's bust it. Two, two. three balls and one strike the pitch on the way swing and she gets a hold of that one to left field left fielder goes over cannot make the play good good hit there by caroline gross Gross on her way down to second base with another double. So Caroline Gross with a double. Brock will make an appearance out as the courtesy runner for the Cardinals. And the courtesy run, number nine, Hannah Brock at the back. Your pitcher, number eight, Kimberly Shook. So Kimberly Shook will be the batter. Belmont leads 10 to one. And the bottom of the sixth. And the pitch on the way, ball high. Huh? 
And the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to right field. That one's trouble. Left right fielder cannot make the catch. And Brock on her way to the plate. And over to third base is Shook. And that will make it 11 to one. And that will be the ball game. So Belmont victorious 11 to one in six innings. Live here from Belmont, once again, your final score. Belmont knocks off all Corn Central in division play. I want to congratulate the Belmont staff here today and the players, great job. And a big win over all Corn Central. Once again, Belmont winning it. Brock scoring the winning run on the big hit there by Shook in the seventh. So Belmont gets that run. And the game call on the 10-run rule in the bottom of the six. Cardinals still didn't have anybody out. And once again, the Cardinals victorious. Once again, the score was 10 to one. Belmont gets the win here at home today. That is gonna wrap up a broadcast. I know the uh, players are gonna have prayer out at the mound and we'll stay here while they do that. And then we'll get out of here. But once again, this is Belmont fast pitch softball from WRMG. And the players having prayer. Once again, our final score, Belmont wins it 11-1. to That's going to wrap it up. We'll see you next time for more Belmont Fast Pitch Softball. I'm Jack Ivey for the Ivey Broadcasting Company, and good night. May God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on your hometown station. <laughs>